I hope everyone had a chance to watch those educational videos. It's impressive to know how much we can do and how much lies ahead um, for us, both opportunities and challenges. Turning this over so that we can get to the Golden Pine Cone Sustainability Awards presented by Donna Walden. And I'm hoping you'll stick around for those because we have some great winners. Green Up has done a tremendous job along with Green Nevada in recognizing businesses and individuals who have done remarkable things to establish a benchmark for us as we move forward with, clim with climate resilience and opportunities to address our climate change. Hello, I am Vanessa Robertson, co-executive director of Envirolution. I am delighted on behalf of Green Nevada to welcome you to this year's virtual Golden Pinecone Sustainability Award Celebration. The Golden Pinecone Award Celebration is a legacy event started in 1988 by Todd Bedrosian, Bob Fulkerson, Glenn Miller, and Bob Liu to bring the environmental community together as friends and initially to get the community excited about stopping the dump of nuclear waste. Now, more than 30 years later, Green Nevada and Green Up run the event as part of their environmental missions. Green Nevada stands for Growing Resources for Environmental Education in Nevada and is a consortium of 20 plus environmental organizations in Northern Nevada whose mission is to foster sustainability through environmental education and leadership. Sponsors for this year's awards event are Envy Energy and Green Up. This year, we partnered with the Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce to broaden our reach with the business community. The award categories this year were inspired by the City of Reno's Sustainability and Climate Action Plan. I am honored to announce each of this year's awardees and will be giving you a brief summary of their merits and qualifications for their recognition. I will introduce the winners one at a time and they will each give a short acceptance speech. More background on each of the winners can be found on greennevada.org. First, we have a brief message from U.S. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto and a brief message from our sponsors. Hello, Green Nevada, and thank you for all you do to promote sustainability in Northern Nevada. I'm so glad to be able to join you virtually for this year's Golden Pinecone Sustainability Awards. And I especially want to thank Donna Walden of Green Nevada and Ann Silver of the Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce for all their work to continue this tradition despite the pandemic. I'm so impressed with this year's honorees who have devoted their efforts and energy to everything from green building to food insecurity to environmental education. Nevada is a national leader in renewable energy and sustainability. And so much of that is because of the efforts of everyone joining virtually today. And I am doing everything I can at the federal level to support these efforts from pushing for tax credits for renewable energy to helping secure passage of the Great American Outdoors Act to support deferred maintenance projects on public lands. I couldn't ask for better advocates and partners than everyone involved in Green Nevada. My best wishes and thank you. Hi, I'm Katie Nanini, Community Relations Manager for Envy Energy. And on behalf of Envy Energy, I'd like to congratulate the organizations, businesses, and individuals being honored today as part of the Golden Pinecone Sustainability Awards. Today's honorees demonstrate leadership, creativity, and innovation to furthering the sustainability and climate resiliency of our communities and state. Congratulations to each of you. By working together as partners and fostering environmental education and leadership, we can ensure that our communities and state will continue to thrive in a sustainable way for generations to come. GreenUp is a proud sponsor for the 2020 Golden Pinecone Sustainability Awards. We've been managing the Golden Pinecone Awards since 2011, and we've partnered with Green Nevada for the last four events to keep this 30-year tradition alive. The awards are important to recognize businesses, organizations, and individuals for their environmental stewardship. A great big thank you goes to our community that supports this event year after year and the Reno Sparch Chamber of Commerce, who is helping to bring the awards to the broader business community. Thank you, and here we go. The first award is being presented to Davidson Organics for their work in green business operations. Davidson Organics sources their tea from sustainable family farms in India with fair trade policies. 
This 1% for the planet member has adopted plastic packaging alternatives, chosen recyclable tea bags and boxes, and recycles and composts its own waste. This business uses non-toxic cleaning supplies, recycled paper content, Energy Star equipment, among many other sustainable measures. Congratulations, Davidson Organics. Thank you, Greenup, for recognizing us in the innovator category for the Golden Pine Good Award. On behalf of our entire crew uh, that work at Davidson's Organic Teas, uh, I truly, truly appreciate um, each and every hand on deck that contributes to what we do and ensuring our eco-friendly, sustainable, and manufacturing standards are maintained, not just for our employees, but also for our customers and suppliers as well. This Green Up Award truly recognizes our marketing potential as well as our manufacturing capabilities to our customers to showcase and share the best practices we employ uh, in a facility. We, when we relocated our, into our facility two years ago, we almost spent 30% more in infrastructure costs to ensure we were capable of, of using those eco-friendly and energy-friendly uh, practices in our facility. And with this Green Up Award, we can formally track our progress and continue our momentum to ensure we are falling through on every goal and objective we outline for ourselves such that we're able to take it a step higher in what we do as a manufacturer. And in conclusion, on behalf of my entire crew at Davidson's Organic Teas, I want to thank GreenUp again for formally recognizing us in the GreenUp Innovator Category Award status and for helping us set the standard for what is attainable and for also to inspire other companies to follow suit in what is possible in a non-traditional manufacturing environment. So thank you. Truckee Meadows Community College, or TMCC, is being recognized for their work for clean energy. In 2019, TMCC joined the NV Energy Green Rider program. This program enabled 100% of the energy service to students, faculty, and staff at TMCC to come from renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power. The new energy program joins TMCC's four solar arrays and two Vertec electric vehicle charging stations as renewable sources of energy. Congratulations, TMCC. On behalf of Truckee Meadows Community College and President Dr. Karin Hilgersom, thank you. TMCC strives to be a leader in clean energy for the region. TMCC wants to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to the sponsors, NV Energy and Green Hub, host, Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce, and um, with this inspiration by the City of Reno Sustainability and Climate Action Plan. At TMCC, we live sustainability and we teach sustainability. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be a 2020 Golden Pine Cone Sustainability Award winner. Thank you. Vamos Verdes! The Great Basin Hall project from the University of Nevada, Reno is being recognized in the green building category. Great Basin Hall, the newest residential building at the University of Nevada, opened in 2018 and earned U.S. Green Building Council LEED Gold certification in 2019. During its construction, 75% of the waste produced on site was recycled. The building features high quality insulation, low emissions paints and flooring, ample natural lighting, low consumption plumbing fixtures, a heat reflective roofing system, and automated lighting and HVAC systems. Congratulations, University of Nevada, Reno. Hello, my name is Peter Gatto and I am an assistant director for residential life housing and food services at the University of Nevada, Reno. Uh, it's an honor to receive the Golden Pinecone Award for Great Basin Hall. I was fortunate enough to see the actual construction from the very beginning of a LEED Gold Residence Hall and Great Basin Hall turned out wonderfully. I know the students are and were very excited and really appreciate our efforts to reduce our carbon footprint and maintain our consciousness of the environment. Uh, their buy-in to the concept uh, has been very well received and overwhelmingly appreciated. Thank you very much again and we will continue our efforts to remain environmentally conscious moving forward. Thank you. 
Danielle Inoue from Washoe County Health District Air Quality Management Division is being recognized in the low carbon neighborhoods and mobility category. Daniel is a leading advocate of the Washoe County Air Quality Management Division Ozone Advance Plan, whose objective is to encourage regional partners to implement strategies that will reduce ozone emissions. These strategies include green building, alternative transportation, urban tree canopy enhancements, expanded electric vehicle use, and compact urban development. Daniel is described by his peers as one of the region's most diligent and committed sustainability champions, a dedicated public servant committed to providing unbiased facts to inform decision making, working with the best interests of his community in mind. Congratulations, Daniel. Hi, I'm Daniel Inoue. I'm with the Washoe County Health District Air Quality Management Division. I'd like to thank Green Nevada for selecting me for this award. My primary work with the health district is to ensure our area meets federal air quality standards. Ozone is our biggest local challenge and tr the transportation sector accounts for about half of those emissions. How we move people and goods in our area has a direct relationship to our air pollution levels. Our ozone advance plan provides options to increase transportation choices. More transportation choices not only means a healthier environment, but it also means healthy people and a healthy economy. Solutions can also increase our tree canopy and decrease greenhouse gas emissions. I'd also like to thank our local champions that help support Ozone Advance. Thank you again. Cody Witt from Full Circle Compost is being recognized for working toward zero waste. Full Circle Compost is Nevada's longest running compost company. In 2019, they diverted over 59,000 cubic yards of organic materials from the landfill, turning them into soils, compost, and mulches. This is the equivalent of over 33,000 cars worth of CO2 off the road. Cody also creates environmental networks where partners help to establish a fully sustainable community of suppliers and producers through organic materials recycling, soil fertility program implementation, sustainable food and medicine production, and of course, education. Congratulations, Cody Witt. Getting to where Full Circle Compost is today was no easy feat, and it all is driven by the hardworking team of employees at Full Circle that work day in, day out, rain or shine, 365 days a year to process that massive amount of material. A big shout out to Farmer Craig, the compost king, who started Full Circle Compost way back in 97. It's with his vision that we've been able to push Nevada to new levels of sustainability. And lastly, to our community. It all starts with you to support waste diversion and keeping materials out of the landfill. Thank you very much to Green Nevada, Green Up, Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce and Envy Energy for this wonderful award. We are humbled by it and we are just so happy for the recognition. And lastly, keep the compost party rocking. <laughs> Relief Reno is recognized under the urban forest canopy category. Council member Naomi Dewar launched the Relief Reno program in 2016 in order to help homeowners and our community connect with the benefits of an increased tree canopy, providing shade and reducing home energy usage, adding property value, carbon sequestration, and contributing to stormwater catchment and improved water quality. Over the last couple years, the program has held Arbor Day events providing trees to the community at subsidized prices. Congratulations, Relief Reno. I'm Naomi Dewar, a Reno City Councilwoman. I am absolutely thrilled to be here today to accept this Golden Pinecone Award on behalf of Relief Reno, a program I started four years ago. People say this is the Truckee Meadows. Trees aren't supposed to grow here. My answer, we're buildings, rooftops, roads. As we develop our community and our planet, we change the environment. It's our job to offset those impacts. The Reno area is one of the fastest warming places in the entire country, and trees help cool it off, restoring that balance. As we put pollutants into the air, trees help scrub it out. The idea behind Relief Reno was to double our tree canopy. That's the vision, that's the big idea. But if an idea is just an idea until many people join forces with you. One of the first big believers and still a champion was Deanna Gescheider, the city's former communications director. And she is now part owner of the Moana Nursery. Following in Deanna's steps and supporting this vision have been Brad Fitch and Rebecca Venus. We could not do this without them. 
Cynthia Albright, currently chair of our Urban Forestry Commission, stands amongst the giant sequoias of trees in Reno. She saw what was happening in our community, and she made it personal. The Urban Forestry Commission, both past and present, is full of believers in our tree canopy. Some of the early advocates were people like Suzanne Cody, Brian Eubanks, Rod Hollenbeek, and Steve Churchillo, our former urban forester. We stand on their shoulders as we continue the work, the vision. The cause was taken up early on by the Ward 2 NAB and then the Parks and Recreation Department under the leadership of Jeff Mann and Jamie Schroeder. The landscape architects were quick to follow. They fought hard to get a new downtown streetscape ordinance put in place. Jana Vondahar and Bob Santner, both landscape architects, have been key to this effort. Finally, I want to mention the RTC and their ultimate willingness to work with me and Matt Basil, our current urban forester, on getting some 200 trees planted in the new Midtown Corridor. Trees that were planted in the right way, in the right soil, to ensure they can actually grow big and strong. In order to make a sustainable change, you have got to get strong rules in place to set a, the standards. Claudia Hansen has been laboring away with Matt Basil on getting those new standards put in place. Matt has also been ensuring that as development occurs, the trees are preserved. And finally, there are our residents who just love trees, who come out every spring, every fall to plant trees with us and to plant trees in their own yards. We need you to keep advocating for the trees, our green infrastructure. Caring about our urban forest is an act of love for our children, our grandchildren, our community, and our planet. As the old Greek proverb goes, a society grows great when old men and old women plant trees in whose shade they shall never sit. I invite you to join us and become part of a tree change in our community. Just Google Relief Reno and get involved. Thanks again so much for this recognition. We will treasure it. The Food Bank of Northern Nevada is being recognized for its work towards food security. The Food Bank helps to put food on the table for more than 91,000 people each month and serves over 18 million meals each year to families throughout a 90,000 square mile service area. They feed the hungry by distributing non-perishable and fresh food items through a network of more than 145 partner agencies who then distribute the food directly to families, children, and seniors in need within the communities we serve. Congratulations, the Food Bank of Northern Nevada. Hi, I'm Nicole Lamboli, President and CEO of the Food Bank of Northern Nevada, and I am honored and humbled to accept the Golden Pine Cone Award on behalf of the Board of Directors and our amazing team of employees. Every day, our employees and our volunteers work hard to move food throughout our community to ensure that no one goes to bed hungry. It is a great honor and privilege to be able to serve this community and to be recognized for our work in addressing food security. Thank you. The Carson Water Subconservancy District is being recognized under the Safeguard Water Resources category. CWSD integrates planning, coordinating, and management activities to support projects associated with floodplain management, river projects, water quality, water supply, invasive species, outreach, education, and of course, recreation. Most recently, CWSD launched the I Am Carson River Watershed campaign to connect the community to the watershed they live in and provide real day-to-day -day tips on how everyone can contribute to a healthy watershed. Congratulations, CWSD. Good morning, uh, I'm Brenda Hunt. I'm the Watershed Program Manager with the Carson Water Subconservancy District. And I'm Shane Fryer, Watershed Program Specialist. On behalf of CWSD, we are excited to accept the Golden Pinecone Award in the Safeguard Water Resources category. We are super grateful to be nominated and to have the award committee choose CWSD to receive this prestigious Environmental Sustainability Award. We want to give a warm shout out to CWSD staff, Ed James, Debbie Neddenrep, and Katrina Chambra. This award celebrates our integrated watershed planning and implementation efforts. 
that benefit the Carson River watershed. We thank Birgit Wittegren and our incredible funders at the Nevada Department of Environmental Conservation for supporting CWSD's watershed program efforts over the past several years. We recognize our partners in the Carson River Coalition, especially the CRC Education Working Group and the Floodplain Management Working Groups, who add value and guide our actions every step of the way. And thanks to our incredible talents at NEON Agency, Steve and Jolene Cook and Randy Peace. They take our technical information and ideas and create art that communicates to our watershed residents and beyond. Go to IamCarsonRiver.org to see NEON and Vanessa Van Coor's talents on display. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to all, all the awardees. awardees. Green Up is being recognized under the Sustainable Milestones category. Donna Walden, president, partnered with Western Nevada College to secure federal funding to launch a certified green business program in 2018 and to license the Green Biz Tracker database that can track the statewide environmental impact in terms of gallons of water saved, energy reduced, solid and hazardous waste reduction, and reduction in carbon emissions that lead to climate change. In 2020, GreenUp encouraged six organizations to help recruit businesses into the program. This program is the first of its kind in the state and supports our statewide climate action goals. Congratulations, GreenUp. I am so delighted on behalf of GreenUp to accept a Golden Pine Cone Award for Sustainability Milestones. I've been working for the last 10 years to get a green business program started in the state, so it didn't happen overnight. Together with California, we worked to get the Green Biz Tracker database and methodology into other states, including Nevada. The political climate is perfect for this program, and businesses are doing amazing things that deserve recognition. Businesses today, more than ever, are willing to take action to improve their environmental performance to make Nevada a healthier and more livable state for generations to come. Green Up also launched the Green Dining District in Carson City. We work with restaurants to recycle and reduce their waste. After a successful 2019 pilot, we were able to get restaurants who initially put 100% of their waste into the landfill to divert 50% of that waste. Just a handful of restaurants participated in a food waste collection program, and that diverted 50,000 tons of food waste from the landfill. All of us have a role to play to protect our planet. While climate action can seem daunting, each of us can reduce our footprint, and together we can assure a sustainable future. Thank you once again for this most prestigious award. Adrian Wiggins of the Carson City School District is being recognized for Best Educational Program. Adrian was nominated by her peers for bringing STEM educational programs to Empire Elementary School. This school year, Empire will be doing service projects at each grade level, at the school and community level, and they will be starting a cafeteria recycling program. She has contributed to the efficacy of the Empire staff, helping students accomplish sustainability education goals and become aware of what they can do to make their community and their world a better place. Congratulations, Adrian. I am truly honored to be receiving the Golden Pine Cone for Educational Program. At Empire Elementary School, we believe in educating our students to be problem solvers, creative thinkers, and innovators. I would like to start by thanking our many partnerships we have built along our journey that have helped us bring quality lessons to our students. Thank you, OSIT, Lemelson Academy, Envirolution, Green Schools National Network, Our Green Planet, and the many professionals that have come to speak with our students. We have learned so much from each one of you that have made us better educators. Thank you to the Carson City School District for allowing Empire to make this shift and supporting us along the way. Mark Cornick, thank you for paving the way for sustainability in our district. I would like to thank our administrators, Susan Squires and Nate Brigham, for leading with conviction, driving this with a passion, and for the belief that no matter what we do, we do what is best for our students. And finally, I would like to thank the Empire staff. Thank you for learning and implementing these changes so that we could bring authentic lessons to our students, helping them reflect on the impact that they have on the environment, and for helping build a sustainable future. I am truly blessed to work with such incredible individuals. Thank you again. The Dayton Intermediate School Robotics Team is being recognized under the Youth Leadership category. 
Last year, seventh grade students from the Dayton Intermediate Robotics team completed a project recharge school proposal that will save their school $9,000 a year in energy savings while offsetting over 128,000 pounds of CO2. These young leaders completed the school-wide lighting audit, calculated the savings by replacing the 25-watt fluorescent lights with 15-watt LEDs, and gathered the necessary support from their school and their superintendent. Nonprofit Envirolution is providing funding for the energy-saving LEDs with the help of Envy Energy Smart Schools rebate, along with a grant provided by Tesla and its K-12 Nevada Education Gift Fund. Congratulations, Dayton Intermediates Robotics. On behalf of the Dayton Intermediate School Robotics team, I would like to thank you for this award. The students worked very hard on this project and are very deserving of it. I would like to also thank Envirolutions for giving us the opportunity to bring Project Recharge into the school where I'm able to teach the students ways to save money and also to help the environment. The students will be working together with a team of people that Envirolutions will be putting together to replace the light bulbs here at Dayton Intermediate School the week of Thanksgiving. We will be replacing the incandescent light bulbs with LEDs. Those LEDs will be going into the offices, into the closets, the hallways, and the classrooms. I would also like to thank Mrs. Cook and Mr. Wass for helping me with the robotics team and helping guide the students along the process. I would also like to thank Mr. Kranchek and Mr. Etter for their support. And then last but not least, the custodians for all the hard work that they will be doing to help us replace those light bulbs. And then those students who did such a great job with this project, Zoe, Braden, Evan, Ashante, Ben, and Dylan. And again, we all as a team would like to thank you very much for this award. Thank you everyone for your continued support for the Golden Pinecone Sustainability Awards and for promoting sustainability in your community. Now more than ever, it's important to address climate change and take action to preserve Nevada for future generations. My thanks to everyone who received a Golden Pinecone Sustainability Award. And I hope that everyone who stuck with this today and was on uh, our webinar appreciated the education, information, and inspiration that was available by participating. My thanks to our moderators, my thanks to the panelists, and all our video stars. Hopefully we'll do this each year. I want to mention again that this, has, this entire presentation has been recorded, and if you were in track one and wanted to watch track two, or you were in three and wanted to watch four, all of those will be made available to you. Thanks once again from the Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce. Hope you have a great evening. I know I'm headed home to rake leaves. Bye everyone.